Hi there, guys. Welcome to another amazing mathematics class. I'm Miss Anne, and today we're going to learn about addition and subtraction of fractions. That simply means how to add fractions and how to uh, subtract fractions. So let's get right into it. Okay, so before we actually like dive right into the class, let's remind ourselves what a fraction is. A fraction is a part or portion of a whole. What does that mean? That simply means you have something that has not been cut and then you cut it into smaller pieces. So when you cut it into smaller pieces, we call it fraction. Example, I might have an orange and then I have a whole orange and I want to share for myself and my sister. So I divide that um, orange into two slices. So one half for me, one half for my sister, and I have one over two, one over two. So the one over two, one over two is what we call a fraction. Example over here, I have this circle and I divide that circle into four parts. Then I go ahead and shade three out of the four parts. What is my fraction? It means three out of four parts has been shaded. So I have three over four. Now let's talk about the parts of a fraction. A fraction has two numbers, a top number and a bottom number. You can see a line that is dividing them or separating them. Now the number at the top is what? Numerator. And the number at the bottom is denominator. Example, I have three over four here. So my three, which is at the top, is my numerator. And my four, which at the bottom, is my denominator. Okay, so let's start. Let's look at how to add like fractions. Now, like fractions are fractions that have the same denominator. Denominator is the number at the bottom. So that means they have the same numbers at the bottom. So you can see I have this circle. I divided it into four parts and shaded two out of four. So that is what, 2 over 4. I got another circle, divided it also into 4 parts, but this time I shaded 1 out of 4. So the fraction of that is 1 over 4. Now I want to add these two fractions together. How do I add it together? 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4. When adding like fractions, do not touch the bottom. You do not add or subtract the bottom. You only work with the top number. That is the numerator. So looking at only the top number, I'm going to add just 2 plus 1. Now 2 plus 1 gives me what? 3. And I'm just going to copy out the number at the bottom, which is 4. Voila, that's all. Now the second example, I have 4 over 13 plus 7 over 13. That means I had a fraction or a rectangle. Let's say a rectangle this time. So I got a rectangle. I divided it into 13 parts. I shaded 4 out of 13. So that is what? 4 over 13. Got another rectangle divided also into 13 parts. I should have 7 out of 13. That is 7 over 13. Now I want to add these two fractions together. 4 over 13 plus 7 over 13. Now, like I said, only add the top number and copy out the bottom number. So adding the top number, I have 4 and 7. So 4 plus 7 gives me what? 11. And I'm just going to copy out 13. So my final answer is what? 11 over 13. So how do I also subtract like fraction? Follow the same process. Now I have a circle divided into five parts. I should add four. So the fraction of that is four out of five, four over five. Now I got another circle also divided into five parts. I should add one. So the fraction of that is one over five. Now I want to subtract these two fractions together. I have four over five minus one over five. Again, do not subtract the bottom. Only what? Work with the top number. So 4 minus 1 gives me 3. And my final answer is 3 over 5. Now, second example, I have 5 over 6 minus 1 over 3. So how do we do this? We're only going to subtract the top numbers and leave out the bottom. So 5 minus 1 gives me 4. And I'm going to copy out the bottom number, which is 6. But take note, I did something. I have said that I have 4 over 6. That is an even number over another even number. That means it can be broken down to make it smaller. So when you do this, when you break it down to make it smaller, we call it simplify. That means you want to simplify the fraction. So how do I simplify this fraction? 4 over 6. I'm going to look for a number that can divide 4 perfectly and also divide 6 perfectly. And that number is 2. 
So four will go in. I mean, two will go in four two times. So I'm going to write two. And two will go in six three times. So my final answer is what? Two over three. So I want to read that by now we can add and subtract like fractions. So just what? Work out the top numbers and copy out the bottom. And simplify if you need to. Now let's move to unlike fractions. Now unlike fractions are different from like fractions. Unlike fractions have different numbers at the bottom. You can see over here I have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4. That means I got um, a circle divided into 4 parts and shaded 1 out of 4. Got another circle divided into 2 parts and shaded 1 out of 2. So I want to add these two fractions together, 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2. Now you can take note and observe that the numbers at the bottom are different. So I can't just jump straight in and start adding it like that. No. The method is going to be different. I'm going to try to make the two numbers at the bottom to be just the same number. How do I do it? At the bottom, I have 4 and 2. So step 1, write out the multiplication of 2, write out the multiplication of 4. So starting with 2, the multiplication of 2 is 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6, on and on, till I get to 2 times 12, 24. And I'm going to stop there. So I'm also going to write out the multiplication of 4. And that is 4 times 1, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 4 times 3, 12, on and on, till I get to 4 times 12, 48. So that is step 1, write out the multiplication of those numbers. After writing the multiplication of those numbers, step 2. Let's find a common number. What do I mean by that? Look for a number that you can find in multiplication table 2 that you can also find in multiplication table 4. And if I look carefully, I observe that I, I have 4 in multiplication table 2 and I also have 4 in multiplication table 4. So that means that 4 is a common denominator, a number that they both have in common. So I'm going to write down that 4. Now move back to your fraction. 1 over 4, starting with 1 over 4. 4, how many times will 4 go in my denominator 4? 4 will go in 4, 1 times. Now, 1 times the 1 on top of that 4 gives me 1. So my 1 over 4 still remains 1 over 4. Now, moving to the second fraction, 2. How many times will 2 go in my common denominator 4? That is what, 2 times. Now, 2 times the 1 on top of that 2 gives me 2. So my 1 over 2 has changed to 2 over 4. So you can see that both fractions now have the same number at the bottom. Now, just like like fractions, we cannot add. So remember that like fractions only focus on the top number. So focus on the top number. I have 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2 gives me what? 3. And my final answer is 3 over 4. So it's as simple as that. So let's look at another example. Now I'm working with 3 fractions. Just to you know, dare and challenge myself. So I have 5 over 6 plus 2 over 3 plus 1 over 2. Do not panic. Just remember step 1, which is what? Write out the multiplication of those three numbers. So I have 6, 3, and 2. So starting with multiplication of 6, I have 6 times 1, 6. 6 times 2, 12. 6 times 3, 18. On and on. So I get to 6 times 12, 72. Now let's move to 3. Multiplication of 3. So I have 3 times 1, 3. 3 times 2, 6. 3 times 3, 9, on and on, so I get to 3 times 12, 36. Now let's move to 2. So multiplication of 2, 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6, on and on, so I get to 2 times 12, 24. So that is step 1, to write out the multiplication table of those numbers. Now let's move to step 2. Find a common number. So what number do these three numbers have in common? So check through multiplication table 6. Check through multiplication table 3 and check through multiplication table 2. I discovered that in multiplication table 6, I can find the number 6. In multiplication table 3, I can also find the number 6. And finally, in multiplication table 2, I can find the number 6. So that means those three numbers have number 6 in common. So I'm going to do was write out that number 6 as a common denominator. So let's start with the first fraction 5 over 6. Now, how many times will 6 go in that 6? Six? 6 will go in 6 just one time. 
So one times the five on top of that six gives me what five. So my five over six still remains five over six. Let's move to the second fraction now. Two over three. How many times will three go in that six? Now three will go in that six just two times. Now two times the two on top of that three gives me what four. So my two over three has changed to four over six. Now moving on to the last fraction, I have one over two. How many times will two go in six? Two will go in six three times. Now three times the one on top of that two gives me three. So my one over two has changed to what? Three over six. So can we now observe that each of these fractions have the same number at the bottom, which is six. So this is now a like fraction. And how do we add like fractions? Simply add up all the numbers at the top. So five plus four, nine. Nine plus three, 12. And then I have 12 over six. But again, we can simplify this because 12 is an even number. Six is also an even number. So I declare that six can go in 12, and that is just two times. So my final answer is what? Two over one, which is two. So you can see that the addition of all these fractions just ended in a whole number, which is two. That is interesting. So now I believe we can effectively add unlike fractions. So let's move to adding unlap means subtracting unlike fractions. How do we subtract unlike fractions? So I have 2 over 3 minus 1 over 2. It's simply the same process and procedure. So step 1, write out the multiplication of 3 and the multiplication of 2. So multiplication of 3, I have 3 times 1, 3, 3 times 2, 6, 3 times 3, 9, on and on. So I get to 3 times 12, which is 36. Now multiplication of 2, 2 times 1, 2, 2 times 2, 4, 2 times 3, 6, on and on. So I get to 2 times 12, which gives me 24. That is step 1. Now step 2, let's find a number that we can see in multiplication table 3. And we can also see that number in multiplication table 2. And if we check carefully, the number is 6. There is 6 multiplication table 3. And there is also 6 multiplication table 2. So we're going to write out that number 6. Now let's go back to our fraction. So starting with 2 over 3. 3 will go in 6 2 times. Now 2 times the 2 on top of that 3 gives me 4. So my 2 over 3 has turned towards 4 over 6. Now 1 over 2. How many times will 2 go in 6? 2 will go in 6 3 times. Now 3 times the 1 on top of that 2 gives me 3. So my 1 over 2 has changed to 3 over 6. So now everything is now a like fraction. So we can easily subtract now. So I have 4 and 3 at the top. So 4 minus 3 gives me 1. And my final answer is what? 1 over 6. Simple as ABC. Okay, so let's look at another example. Now I have 20 over 7 minus 5 over 9. But now we know what step 1, which is write out what? The multiplication of 7 and 9. So we're going to table 7 now. 7 times 1, 7, 7 times 2, 14, 7 times 3, 21, on and on. So I get to 7 times 12, which is what? 84. And now let's write the multiplication table 9. So 9 times 1, 9, 9 times 2, 18, 9 times 3, 27, on and on. So I get to 9 times 12, which is 108. That is step 1. So step 2, what do we do? We find a number that we can see in multiplication table 7 that we can also see in multiplication table 9. So after checking carefully, I see that we have 63. So there is 63 in table 7 and there is also 63 in table 9. So we are going to write out that 63. Now let's go back to our fraction. So starting with 20 over 7, 7 in 63 is 9. 9 times the 20 on top of that 7 gives me what? 180. So 20 over 7 has turned to 180 over 63. Now let's move to the next fraction, 5 over 9. How many times will 9 go in 63? 9 will go in 63 7 times. So 7 times the 5 on top of that 9 gives me 35. So 5 over 9 has also changed to 35 over 63. So now this is a like fraction, so we can simply subtract. So we now have 180 minus 35, and that gives us 145. Now we can decide to leave our answer like this as 145 over 63, or we can show how good we are in mathematics by leaving our answer as a mixed fraction. A mixed fraction simply means a whole number with a fraction. So looking at 
145 and 63. Now, 63 cannot perfectly go in 145. There's going to be a remainder. That's the whole purpose of mixed fraction. So 63 will only go in 145 two times. So I'm going to write that two. And there's a remainder of 19. So 19 numbers will be left behind. So my final answer is now two whole number, 19 over 63. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Whew, boy, was that a long lesson. But I think at the end of this whole long lesson, I believe we should be able to add and subtract like fractions and unlike fractions. So practice time. So we have question one. 3 over 5 plus 2 over 5 plus 1 over 5. Now, who can tell me, is this a like fraction or an unlike fraction? This is a like fraction. Very good. Because you can see that they all have 5 at the bottom. So, this is a like fraction. So, what do we do? Only add the top numbers and copy out the bottom number, which is 5. Now, the next one, I have 21 over 22 minus 19 over 22. This is also a like fraction. So again, subtract the top number and also just copy out the bottom number. Now I have whole number. This is tricky. How do we add this whole number? This mixed fraction. How do we add mixed fraction? I'm seeing whole number and fraction. Fret not. I got you. I'll give you a hint. This is a like fraction, so it's simple to work with. So how do you do this? So whole number plus whole number. That is 2 plus 9. Write it out. And now you can do what? Simply work with the fraction part. So you now have 3 over 5 plus 1 over 5. So work, work that out and you have your answer. Your answer will be 11 or number something over something. Now question 4 on life fractions. I have 3 over 12 plus 2 over 4. So step 1, write out the multiplication of 12. Write out the multiplication of 4. Step 2, look for a number that you can find in multiplication table 12. That you can also find the multiplication table four. Write out that number and then from there just work it out. Now, exam, I mean, question five, you have five over 32 minus four over 16. So, same thing, write out multiplication table 32, write down multiplication table 16. Look for a number that you can see in table 32 that you can also see in table 16, and then you can work it out from there. And question six, we have mixed fraction also. So, fret not, eight minus two, that will give you six. Then now you can work out with 2 over 4 minus 3 over 20. And with that, we've come to the end of today's amazing class on how to add and subtract both like fractions and unlike fractions. So I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.